Right, so this is going to be Love and Relationship Tarot Reading for Aquarius, December 23rd to uh, December 29th, 2019. And uh, if you guys want to get in touch with me for a, a personal reading or you want to check your business and career tarot reading for that very same week, uh, you can have a look at the description down below in this video. And there you're going to find a full list. Um, uh, oh my God. There you're going to find a link to my website where you can basically see the full list of my services and as well, and as well their pricing. But also in that description, you're going to uh, find a link to the other video, which is a business and career for Aquarius. That's very same week, December 23rd to December 29th. So going for the uh, love and relationship tarot reading, now we do have the topic of the Empress, of the Empress followed by the, to the energy that supports the topic, and that is going to be the Five of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome for throughout the week. That is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the gifts and the blessings of the week regarding love and relationship. That is going to be the Four of Wands. Afterwards, we do have how the other sees you, how your partner sees you, how your person of interest is seeing you as well, how um, your friends and family are seeing you. That is going to be the Four of Cups. Then we do have what is going to um, help you to achieve your long-term goal, relationship and love-wise, throughout this week. That is going to be the Queen of Cups. Afterwards, we do have what is going to hurt achieving your long-term uh, relationship and love goal. That is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. And the last one, it is the guidance that Saro is offering. We have the Nine of Cups. Uh, all right, uh, again, we do have a typical situation here that resides into everybody's love life and everybody's, um, uh, how can I say it, relationship. Uh, but let's uh, have a look at the very first cards here, the energy and the topic of the week. So you, you do have uh, some important decisions to make in regards to your love life or how your love life it is to move forward and um, in generally your relationship life as well. Now you can expect throughout this week that the energies are going to be very unstable like a roller coaster. One day you know you're in a very good terms with your person of interest, with your partner, with your wife, husband, etc, etc. On the other day there are fights um, uh, sprinkling, there are you know arguments um, bursting out and etc etc. Now important thing to be acknowledged here with those unstable energies it is that these energies can serve either way they can serve to destroy uh, interests, to destroy relationships, to destroy feelings and emotions, or they can serve as well to consolidate them in many ways, because the outcome is going to be anybody's guess. And that's why the topic itself makes you extremely mature individual, where instead of thinking with um, your emotions, I would say, you would prefer to, whenever the argument arise, Okay, or whatever the misunderstanding, or even if it is a good enterprise that comes around, uh, that comes around, uh, you would prefer not to rush with your um, with your decision about it or with your confrontation about it. But instead, you would would you would like to have a bit of a time for yourself, so you can um, put a thorough analysis, uh, figuratively speaking and take the most well-found and balanced decision in regards to that direction, fully being aware of that there are to be certain consequences out of it, either bitter or sweet, and uh, regardless of are they bitter or sweet, you have to face them one way or another. Uh, I would like to say that these cards are pointing that that is going to be kind of a, a test of a, either a future love interest or relationship. Is this relationship or a future love interest strong enough to endure the, the hits from, the, uh, from fate that every relationship have, the ups and downs that every relationship has? The other card here represents uh, the challenges that you need to overcome. and. Uh, this ain't much of a challenge really, except um, unless we are talking about an attempt for a reconciliation. And if that's the case, then the challenge speaks that you have to convince 
that person you want to reconciliate with, it is that you still have what to give to them. Now, this is a, a person who expects you to convince them that uh, you are a, um, how can I say it? You are an opportunity for them here to for unexplored. Okay, that's the whole thing. But we do have an, an individual who prefers to have a solid and stable relationship than a relationship of a roller coaster. That is the same thing you're going to have here. And that's why it will be important to be mature and balanced into these very, very unstable energies that are going to surround you throughout this period of time, December 23rd to December 29th. Uh, the other card points to the gifts and the blessings. We do have the gift and the blessing for your love and relationship life of the Four of Wands. So this card points that you are going to finalize a, a very important cycle of development and of growth as well toward this week. This is the gift of the, of the uh, culmination of a hardship and a hard work to sustain a relationship, to make a relationship, to make an, an impression, for example, to build family, to, to make a plan how to move forward from now on. This card points that whatever details, you know, your relationship or your stray for relationship had you already attended to them and you made a flawless performance into that direction in generally with those cards guys if you uh, kind of convince the person of interest of yours that you do have potential to to be in a long-term relationship with them and they're not just the next count in your uh, in your list then definitely you can have a long-term relationship with them. Vice, uh, say, uh, likewise, regarding a already established relationship or a marriage. Now, the next one represents on how other people sees you, how your partner sees you, how your uh, friends and family, you know, how your person of interest sees you. And that is the four of wands. No very good impression, to be honest here. Um, let me have a look. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like... Um, and that kind of comes uh, from the topic itself. They are seeing you as a uh, rather, it's not even passive, but it is more like, uh, how do you say it when someone doesn't want to uh, do something because they don't want to face the circumstances or they don't want to face the consequences of it? Is it passive how they people say it in, in America or in England or in English in general? Uh, it, it basically, they're going to see you as a, someone who does not want to take responsibility. But that's not the case here. And this is why these people need convincing. OK, uh, you are in a, such a state because you don't want to make harsh decision. You don't want to make wrong moves, but you do want to make the right thing. And that's why you need to be uh, extra explanatory and elaborative when it comes to tackling people confronting you about that, that you seem uh, kind of like... Um, the touch, um, the touch, un, uh, yeah, it's uh, what the word that I was searching for. It's um, unattached, yeah, detached to to the problems that you may have or to the situation that you may have with your person of interest or uh, with your lover. That is, and uh, you need to explain them why you do have that lack of attachment, seemingly lack of attachment. You gotta. Uh, you got to understand that this week, love and relationship-wise, asks you to tame your emotions. Right now, it is not the time where your emotions need to run wild. Right now, in this week, it is the time where your uh, mental strength takes the better of you. Uh, the other one, it is uh, what is going to help your long-term relationship go. Now, we do have a person here who appears to be like a motherhood figurine of yours. That may not be your mother, all right, it, but it's definitely a person who supports you unconditionally, someone who is very mm, discreet in regards to what plight you are going through. In generally, that is a, a person that you can always share what you are going through, not being afraid that everybody else is going to know about it to, um, 
two hours later or that you're gonna be on a YouTube for that matter. So uh, how this is gonna contribute for your situation? Well, you're going to lighten your emotional weight. Like said, uh, you cannot allow your emotions to outburst and to swirl your world. Instead, you know, you need to show a mental strength here, but those emotions need to be laid out somewhere and this is where you do it so you don't fall into rampage here you have the person that is going to be like an emotional recycle bin for you and uh, what is gonna what is going to hurt your long-term relationship and long goals here Aquarius that is going to be the nine of uh, Pentacles and uh, this card, it's, uh, it's very difficult to actually manifest it here. I do suspect that it fell into this reading because simply there is nothing that can obstruct your long-term goals throughout this week. The card itself points of a, a extreme self-confidence. It, like, uh, it, it, is, it, it is like, well, if that person will never find someone like me. It is like, you are so confident in yourself that uh, you th almost think that this person of interest you have or your wife or a husband or your partner does not deserve you at all and um, it's pretty much you will uh, ask them to pull the whole weight which seldom happens into uh, into relationship when there are emotions in and if there aren't emotions and you really are doing that, there, there is no point moving forward with that person of interest or relationship. The last one is the guidance. And that is the, the guidance of the Nine of Cups. Now, that is a pretty big one. As a matter of fact, this is the most important card into your reading here. It pretty much says that whatever you have right now, relationship or love-wise, I mean partner, um, marriage, person of interest, or an idea, feelings, they are a very substantial, all right? They are very important. And uh, those feelings, or kind of like these people as well, are the direction of yours that is going to uh, give you fulfillment of life and sensual joy. However, you are far from consolidating it. As a matter of fact, right now, what you need to do is ensure its security. Ensure the security of your interaction with your person of interest. Ensure the security of your marriage. Ensure the security of uh, your relationship. How? With the Nine of Cups? Well, do what you both enjoy. It's as simple as that, okay? Do what your partner enjoys, do what your um, person of interest enjoys, do what your husband or wife enjoys. It's, it's just that simple, okay? So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly uh, love and relationship tarot reading, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, if you are interested into your career and uh, business tarot reading for that very same week, you can have a look at the description down below and there you're going to find a link toward it. As well, that description, you're going to find a link to my website in case you want to get in touch with me for a, a private reading. Now, that being said, uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around and until then, Bye.